Hello, welcome to this video on ratings and competition in television news. In this video, we're going to talk about the challenges that broadcast journalists face when trying to deliver the news on television. Specifically, we'll look at how the competition between news programs is measured, and then we'll look at two ways television journalists try to compete or try to get the most viewers. Nowadays, viewers have a lot of channels to choose from when sitting down to watch the news on television. There are even entire news channels dedicating 24 hours a day to covering current events, which we'll talk about more in a later video. Each program, of course, really wants to have the most viewers. This creates a lot of competition, or channels trying to get the most viewers. How do channels measure how many people are watching their news program? How do we know which news program has the most viewers? The answer is ratings. Ratings are reports that show the number of viewers each news program has. Ratings are very important to producers, anchors, and correspondents because they want to know that they have the highest number of viewers. So how does this competition for ratings affect the news? Well, if news programs compete with one another, then they're trying to have the most viewers. But they are all reporting on the news, right? Aren't their broadcasts very similar? Don't news programs generally cover the same events? How different could they be? Well, there are a couple of things that news programs can do to stand out, to offer their viewers something different, and get more viewers. Let's look at an example. In 2015, Canada hosted the Women's World Cup. The U.S. team won the game against the Japanese team. Most news programs around the world reported on the Women's World Cup. How can a news cover this story in a way that gets them the most viewers? One way is by getting exclusive interviews with players or coaches. Exclusive means not shared with others. So if News at 10 has an exclusive interview with the team's coach, that means the coach will only talk with the journalist at News at 10 and not with any other journalist. This exclusive interview will help News Hour at 10 get more viewers because their viewers will learn information that they cannot find on any other news programs. What are other things journalists can do to get high ratings for their news programs? Being first to report a story is also very important. For example, in 2015, Prince William and Princess Kate of Great Britain welcomed their second baby, Charlotte, to the world. Journalists camped outside St. Mary's in London weeks ahead of time so they could hear the announcement first. That way, their news program could have the story first. If viewers think that the news program breaks the story before other news programs, it's likely to have high ratings. To summarize, television journalists have to find ways to have high ratings while delivering the news. High ratings are important because news programs want to have the most viewers. One way that journalists try to increase their ratings is through interviewing people exclusively. Another way that journalists try to beat the competition is by being first to break a story. In the next video, we'll talk about other ways television journalists try to get high ratings.